Those are the White Mountains? Yeah, this is... Uh, Why they gotta be white? I don't know. That's what they call them. <laughs> so the mountains in New Hampshire, they call the White Mountains. Mountains in Vermont, they call the Green Mountains. I don't know what they hmm. call the mountains in Maine. Hmm. Acadia. Acadia? It might... Uh, no, Acadia is the national yeah. park. And then the, the, the mountains in joke. the mountains in upstate New York, they call the Adirondacks. Hmm. So, and then, so you're telling me New England's the only one that has the racist mountains? Yeah. Well, then Massachusetts, the mountains in Western Mass are the Berkshires. So, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to ask Vasquez. I, I, I was more trying to make a joke. And you took I mean, it way too serious. Yeah, I, I don't know. I take you, you know me. You know how I am. Yeah, but I want to have lighthearted talks, too, Please. where we can joke and stuff. Like okay, about okay. my autism. <laughs> all right so you were telling me that story and you're like yeah that's how it is now around men oh. that's how it is with me around women all the time i've <laughs> never i have never in my life had an interaction no, that, that with a woman sto- that wasn't exactly what you described to me that story that you told me when you were married and your friends got pissed at you yeah because these girls complimented your Dwight Schrute hoodie. Yeah. They said uh, it was, uh, was it the Beats Farm Inn? Yeah, the Schrute Farm Beats. Schrute Farms Beats, yeah. Tell that story again, because I love so, it. So, <laughs> we're in Big Bear. Me and my friends are drinking at a bar. There's mm. five of us, all dudes. You know, we're just getting away from the weekend, getting out of the desert, getting away from base. And um, so we're up there, and my buddies couple of my buddies go to get, um, or three of my buddies go to go to the bar to get drinks, and I'm sitting there with me and one other dude. While we're sitting there, these two girls come up and start talking to me. And cute like, girls. Very cute girls. Yes, very and they were like, girls. oh my god, I love your hoodie. I had a Shroot Farms Beats hoodie on. Who got that hoodie for you? You got it for me. Yeah. And immediately, I'm like, I was like, oh, thanks. And they're like, where did you get it? And I was like, my wife got it for me. And, uh... They but you were, like, were awkward about it. You're making yeah. it sound like you played it. Like my my wife got it for me. Yeah. Well, I'm awkward anyway when yeah. when pretty girls just talk to me. But you're not awkward when I talk to you. Does that mean I'm not? Uh, was I awkward when we first met? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, there we go. Hello. There we go. Awkward. All right. So all I'm saying is, so yeah, they were like, and I was like, oh, my wife got it for me, and they immediately just like. We're like, oh, okay, and then walked away. And my other buddy, Micah, who was sitting there, was like, dude, I know you're married. I know you can't hit on girls, but at least humor them so maybe they'll stick around and the other single guys with us can talk to them. Exactly. Like, (laughs) yeah, you shut them down. You're not a good wingman. I'm fucking sorry. (laughs) But I do appreciate it about you. I can't complain. As as your wife, I can't complain that that's your reaction. (laughs) My wife got it for me. Because the fact that they walked away as soon as you said my wife got it for me means that they were hitting on you or they were going to flirt with you or yes. whatnot. Yep, that's exactly what I got from that. And I was like, oh. Which is fuck. why I think it's an appropriate shutdown. You're just like, oh, yeah, my wife got it for me. You probably could have played it off more chill. Well, that's, that's what Micah was saying. Because yeah. Mike, uh, Mike immediately was like, I don't expect you to ever ever like cheat on your girlfriend or compromise any of your relationships that you yeah. don't want to but you could have humored them so they would stick around because you're the only dude in a relationship in this group it was yeah. me and four single guys yeah so i was like fuck i'm sorry man <laughs> i just tore no girls talk but, to us but, for the rest of the night that was the only shot but we Ma- had but micah, <laughs> but, but but micah should also it. understand that like mm-hmm. i think that would have been you single too uh, yeah, probably. Maybe not. Obviously, you wouldn't have had the wife comment, but like if they had, st- if they had stayed and talked to you long enough, I think the only reason you lucked out with me, I'm, that sounds very egotistical, but I'm, 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 I'm saying it as I'm very forward and abrasive. Like, and even you didn't even realize I was hitting on you. Mm-hmm. You, you didn't when we were both single. I was on vacation when I met you. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think eventually they would have been, uh, realized it too. Cause it's, it's kind of hard. Like you don't give much. Me? Yeah, You don't give much. Like yeah. the reason I kept talking to you that night too, was just cause you were good conversation. I'm like, okay, he's not interested. There was a point where I was like, okay, he's not interested. He's not flirting back. He's 
there there was a yeah, point. I don't, I don't know how to foil. In, in no that idea. night, where I was like, okay, he's not interested, but I'm genuinely enjoying my conversation. The only other two people there were my brother and his roommate. He looks like Gromit. He does. He looks like. No, Wait, is Gromit the no, dog or Wallace, is Wallace? Wallace oh, okay, is he, looks like he looks like Wallace, Wallace from Wallace, Wallace and Gromit. Wallace, yes. He has the same chin. <laughs> yeah. Same smile. <laughs> yeah. I do love these mountains up here. And yeah, I'm glad we finally got I finally got to take you to like Conway. Tomorrow we'll we'll go check out like the, the shops yeah. and stuff. And I know there's a couple you, you wanted to check out and mm-hmm. we'll go the we'll boho one. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a nice style though, because all the clothes are like free flowing. So even if you're heftier, yeah. it's nice. Like it's like those pants are so flattering that I wear. Yeah. Shout out See, to Sheen, which is a hit or a miss, but is, generally people just dress what they like. It I doesn't have it. anything to do with I love it. I like it because like I said, the clothes are comfortable. And being heftier, like, you know, the, yeah. it's nice. Flannels and jeans, yeah, that's just, my thing, man. Yeah, you're just I'll wear that till I die. <laughs> stylish, yeah. Stylish, I doubt it. I love this lobster shirt you rock all the time in the I summer, love though. Shirt. I it's swear you wear shirt. it every other day. Yeah, it's my summer shirt, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get you more, even if it's more of the same exact shirt, but because <laughs> you wear that one about every other day. I watched you do the sniff test before you packed it. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't, uh, I don't have much summer clothes. No, you don't. I have a no. lot more like winter and fall clothes than I do summer clothes. Well, I have more winter and fall clothes too because sweater weather is my favorite. But I need to go through clothes. There's clothes I look at and I'm like, oh, when am I going to wear that again? And the real answer is probably never. I guarantee I have some. Probably. And I just gotta, just gotta get rid of it. So, no. I do like the, like, boho hippie vibes. Yeah. Dinner was so good. That asparagus I can't get over. Yeah, it's that wood fire grill. That waitress was awesome. Yeah, she was cool. She was very personable. I love when you have good service at a restaurant. I mean, I'm always good at giving people, like, the benefit of the doubt if there's, like, an off day or I assume there's an off day. That, that's, I prefer assuming they're having an off day than that they're just a shitty server, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, Because I've never worked in the industry. Like, I've never been a waitress or a host. And I imagine that has to be grueling because I, I deal a lot with customer service and stuff, but not when it comes to food and people dining in restaurants. And I guarantee for every one difficult person I get, I guarantee a waitress has had 20 more to top it. Yeah. So, like, I, that's why I'm very firm about, I hate when people, that's a little, Big Dipper? Little Dipper? Mm, satellite. Oh. See it cruising across no, the sky. No, I see the satellite, but that's that constellation right in front of us. No, that's the uh, what? What is that constellation? Anyways, you interrupted. Oh me. yeah, I see but it. It's like the, the zigzag thing. I don't. I yeah. don't know. It, but I've seen it before, and that three stars. That the one is very faint. But isn't that Orion's belt? No. No, Orion's belt is. I can recognize Orion's yeah. belt pretty pretty well. That's not Orion's it. and the Dippers is the Dipper right above me right there. No. Yeah, that is the the stars different. are pretty though. Okay, can I finish what I was saying? Yeah. Okay, remind me what I was talking about. I I don't remember. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, then maybe we don't interrupt anymore. I'm gonna have to do some pointing for that later. Sorry, I saw later. that cool satellite. No one pointed As out. my submissive. <laughs> but I've actually been very proud of us. We're switching subjects now because I don't remember what I was saying. Yeah. We'll go back through this, and you'll be like, "Oh, that's what she was talking about." Mm-hmm. But, um, we had a very cold summer, so that's weird. Yeah. But, which made Colorado miserable because it was so hot when we went back to visit. 
Yeah. But we were spoiled this summer. We didn't. We maybe hit eighty nine degrees. I don't. Yeah, think I don't think. I don't think it broke ninety. I don't think, I don't we, think we hit ninety. 90. Yeah. So. It might have hit ninety for like a minute, but it's it was a pretty cool summer. That's my ideal summer, though. I okay, loved yeah. all the rain we got. Yeah. I would take that. It's funny. Like we say, oh, wow, there was no summer. I'd take that summer a thousand times. Before a perfect. normal New England summer? Yeah. I just, before heat. And it was, yeah, it was really, really pleasant. I'm not a big, like, swimmer, so it's, it's no difference to me. I don't know. You got 80 degree weather and swimming still fun. Like, or 70 degree weather even. Yeah. Because what do you think today was? Because swimming was fun. The pool was heated, obviously. It was probably like 85. The, the, heat, the pool was heated more than I would have liked. You liked it because you get cold, DC. But yeah. you have minimal fat on you. Yeah. You know where all your fat goes? <laughs> Dad ass. Yeah. Double cheeked up God right here. Yep. You're not cutting that part out. No, I won't. Yeah. But. I've been enjoying the podcasting. I like that we have our laid back ones, but I really like the focused ones. The focused ones are good, but the laid back ones aren't. The laid back ones aren't for the audience. Those are for us. Yeah, like it's more yeah. like just to, and we usually do it back to back anyways. We yeah. you usually just keep it rolling, and then we go into general conversation well it's because wow. i was telling my dad this too because i was explaining it to him yesterday about how we do the focus ones but we do just regular conversation as well because we you know it's it's practice like we're trying to get better at like talking and better at telling mm -hmm. stories and then it gives me something to edit and it's well, and just I, we get reps in i kind of like too that you post almost everything because we'll have something to reflect back on too and see how yeah. good we like how much better it sounds and stuff even if by how good i don't mean how many viewers like if yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah. if we never get a single follower i'm fine yeah have you had any followers or subscribers yeah i didn't think so no yeah i don't i don't care too much about it i mean it'll It'll come with time if it gets better. It's okay, I'll but. get on my, like, five YouTube accounts and But I, I even <laughs> said this on one of our last podcasts. Like, I I don't care. I don't desire to be huge. I desire mm -mm. to have, like, a modest audience and then enough to just keep doing it, you know? Well, because there's a point where you cross the line and it's not relaxed anymore. You it's have to come up with something. Yeah. and you Because it's, like, it's what's bringing in audience and stuff. But... Yeah. I like doing this just for us because, say God forbid, something does happen to one of us. It's That's there forever for us to reflect back on. Yeah. I never thought of that. And the, that's, and, that and, that'll and, be awesome. Yeah, and the conversations hours that we have. Hours and hours and hours yeah. of conversation. Yeah. And, you know, honestly, we have a healthy marriage. We do. And we do enjoy our independent time where I'm video gaming and you're listening to podcasts or video gaming, I do think... I've only seen positive benefits. I think it's good for us to talk once a week. Even if it's nothing comes of it and it's boring, I think it's good for us to talk because it's, it's also making me want to do it more. And, and it's good for us to talk like, yeah, I'm eager to get on video games after a long day of work to just... You know, put my mind somewhere else, especially with the current job I have. But it's been nice to sit with you and talk for that 40 minutes. Because it's usually about 40 minutes we at least talk. Sometimes more, sometimes less. But it's nice. Because it, it, and it's, it's beyond just catching up. Like, how was your day? How was work? Cause you know when you have a bad day at work and and it, it just it's it's not fun and unfortunately right now I do have more bad days than good days. It's just not fun to be like, yeah, work was shit as usual. Like, but when we're talking about other stuff or just podcasting, and I and I like the cemetery stuff we're doing, and I hope that we do beyond just cemeteries. Yeah, 
Which I'm sure we will. I have, yeah, I have several. Cem- cem- cemeteries are easy because there's so many here and they're so very unique. easy, and, and they're and and they I don't cost love... any money to go to. Yeah, like and it, it very nice. easy ones. Yeah, very well, easy. I don't want to go to any place that costs money because well, uh, unfortunately, the places that cost money, they uh usually add this spooky element. I know yeah. you go into the history side of things, but no, you're absolutely uh, no, right. But... If there's a financial well, incentive, even with historical yes. stuff. If there's a financial, if there's a financial aspect behind it, I'm gonna be kind of skeptical of the historic yeah. claims as well. The, so the one yeah, place yeah, I will definitely. like, like if we pay money to go on a ferry over to the, what what's that island? Isles of Shoals. Isle we, of dude, Shoals. That one. Yeah. That one. We That's different. That. Yeah. That's different because it's not like the Stanley Hotel where they, you know, em- embellished the spooky stuff, yeah. per, so to say. But yeah. Because I did hear, I'm like, because I had a friend who stayed there, and they're like, oh yeah, you can definitely tell staff does things to make it extra spooky. Except, ex- I want to know if there's any actual, I need to research it, is there actual spooky stuff behind the Stanley? Or did the Stanley become spooky because of The Shining? Yeah, I don't know. And I'm leaning towards the latter. Yeah. Because in the... Because there's a hotel Colorado in Glenwood Springs. That's a hotel I want to stay at sometime. Mm. They don't really advertise the haunting. It used to be a hospital. Ooh. And the bottom floor was a morgue. So I bet that has some spooky stuff to it. Yeah, I bet. But yeah, there's a lot of... um. So, for instance, one of one of talking about like financial stuff, the Lizzie Borden house, mm-hmm. which I it's either in Rhode Island or Mass, but the Lizzie Borden there's that there's that nursery. It's not a nursery rhyme, but it's you know Lizzie Borden had an axe, gave her mother forty wax. Mm-hmm. Something. What do you mean it's not a nursery rhyme? That's the one I planned on singing to our future offspring. But anyway, <laughs> the Lizzie Borden story. So the house that she committed those murders in, when she killed her parents, um, is a bed and breakfast now. And you can stay there. And apparently they say it's super haunted, this and that. But because it's a bed and breakfast... And it's they're a in financial bel- incentives. Yeah. And, and the clientele they're reaching out to are the... The people that yeah. want to stay at a place that might be haunted. Yeah, they're going to embellish like the the haunted aspect of it. Yeah. So... That's why the that's why the cemeteries are good because there's no financial incentive to it. Yeah. So if there's a there's cemetery that has a lot of other has, areas too that are good that yeah. aren't there is no financial like there's the old milk house on Riverdale Road where they say the KKK used to meet. Yeah. And then there's um and now they say a satanic cult meets there. Yeah. To this day. Yeah. But also Riverdale Road is ha- it's considered one of the more haunted roads. Yeah. Because uh, there's Joggers Hill near that area, and like several joggers have been hit mm. there. So they say certain things. I went somewhere in Colorado, and man, I wish I could remember what it was called because it was creepy. They say if you park your car in neutral on this hill, and it was a road, that you'll like feel it get like pushed, or you'll hear noises. And we did, we did hear things, but. Animals make all kinds of weird noises, because even though I believe in the supernatural and the spooky stuff, like, I do believe in logic first. Like, what else could have caused that? But I've had situations where logic hasn't explained it. 